Hey yo, this is Dash, and uh, today is January 1st, 2014. So, this will officially be the end of the 2013 Beer Growth Project. So, uh, first and foremost, I would like to thank any and every one of you who has been watching this progress or has been following me midway through the year, uh, three quarters of the way through the year, if you just started following me or, or looking at, the, at these videos last month, or if you've been watching these videos from the beginning. So, if you didn't know or don't know, and this is your first time watching one of these videos, January 1st last year, I decided to grow my beard out for a year. And my year is up. So, as you can see, my beard is uh, <clears throat> it's longer than it appears. Part of the problem I have is my beard, I won't say it's curly, it's just the hairs don't grow straight. Uh, curly would be, you know, more of a, like a spiral pattern or whatever, but there's, it's not straight out. Last time measured, um, I found a couple long beard hairs. I was rated about four and three quarter to five, between four and three quarter inches and five and a half, five and a quarter inches um, from some of the longer beard hairs to some of the um, the, or the the medium long to the longest. All right, um, there are some places or space places around my head where my face, sorry, where I did shave like earlier in the year. I was trimming the side of my face down, basically from about here on down. I didn't cut anything ever, so. Like if I wanted to find a pretty long beard hair, look under my chin, and I could find one that's easily five inches long. So here's, here's one hopefully you can see. All right, so this should serve as the week 52 official update, and well the final update. And again, week 52, I decided to grow this out for a year. And if you've been following me, watching, whatever, you'll know even weeks mean haircut time. So, I'm gonna cut my hair and then I'm gonna come back and talk for a couple minutes. And then I've been trying to contemplate and decide what I'm gonna do with the actual hair on my face. All right, I'll catch y'all on the flip side. Yo, all right, <clears throat> so I've cut my hair, I'm back. <sighs> Here comes the moment of truth. And to be honest with you, I've grown pretty attached to my beard over the year. Uh, over the past like eight months since it <clears throat> came in full enough to the point where, you know, it, it's been pretty full. Uh, though, I made a deal with my wife that I would in fact cut my beard off in a year because she hates it. So unfortunately, I'm gonna have to actually follow through with cutting my beard off. Though, I'm gonna save the goatee, all right? Cause I, if you watched the first video where I shaved everything off, I have a scar on my chin. Can't see it now. But I have two scars on my chin actually. One was from when I bust my chin on a sink when I was younger actually. I think I got my head popped down into the sink, but I'm not saying. And the other was I was on a cruise ship uh, when I was a kid and I was climbing out of the, one of the pools and the, the ship was moving about, lost my footing, chin on the top of the pool or on the top of the ladder. Nonetheless, I have some scars in the air, don't particularly care for them. So yeah, all right. That being said, I actually have to do something with this now.
All right. So, you get the general idea. So at this point, There it is. Straight go to. Alright, let's go see what my family says. Yay! I Daddy, did you save it? Oh, yes, he did. Well, he did oh, save it. Oh, what's wrong? Do you like it? Do you like it? No. Do you like it? No. Okay. All right, so <clears throat> it is what it is. Goatee will be here for a little while. Usually, um, if you remember back from the videos in the beginning, I always talked about how I used to grow my beard out for the last three or four months of the year. And then right after January or in January, I would cut it off and I wouldn't have the goatee. So I, That's why I decided to keep the goatee for right now, or have the goatee for right now. Um, as you can see, I'm trying to trim my face up just a little bit with the uh, straight razor. I'm not. <laughs> so I just posted a picture of my face covered up. Actually, I'll post the image here. That's the my sink <laughs> and then my face so covered up with a t-shirt and uh, I haven't showed anyone what it looks like as of yet Alright, well, I think this is finally it. Uh, insert boys to men, end of the road. Yeah, sorry. <clears throat> but growing up in Philly, I heard that song a lot. Alright, um. <laughs> I got Facebook going nuts right now. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. I think I had this big cheese eating, eating grin on my face uh, back in the beginning of the year when I finally shaved my beard. Though, um, yeah, I like this a little bit better than I do uh, having no hair on my face at all. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for all of the above. Um, you might be wondering what I'm gonna do now in my spare time since I'm not tending to my beard. I actually started to try to get up a little business. Steeldrumsmokers.com. If you're in the Baltimore area or if you're in Maryland 
or you know what, pretty much anywhere between New York and let's say Richmond. And if you want a smoker built for you, I can take care of it for you. Uh, as far as up on the East Coast and as far west as maybe Ohio, I can take care of it for you. I'm um, also been selling smoked meats on the side and frying turkeys, smoking turkeys, other things like that. Like I said, check out the website Steel Drum Smokers. Dot com. <laughs> Tell me what you think. All right. Thanks again for watching. Appreciate everything. 